Welcome, and thank you for watching. My name is Emer Egan. I'm one of the architects working as part of the Karakusevic Carson Architects team on phase 2C of the Coval Estate Regeneration Master Plan. The purpose of this presentation is to give you an update on the next steps of the Coval Estate Regeneration Programme. What is this about? The Coval Estate Regeneration Programme is one of Hackney's biggest building projects. We are replacing 432 original homes with over 900 high quality new homes, allowing all of Colville's social rent tenants to move into brand new council homes on the estate alongside with much needed additional new council homes. In March 2011, the master plan for the estate regeneration was approved by the London Borough of Hackney Planning Authority. In August 2012, the detailed planning application for phase two of the master plan was approved. Karakusevic Carson Architects now work with Hackney Council on a planning amendment to incorporate some changes. We have been meeting the Coval Estate Tenants and Residents Association regularly to keep them up to date on progress and proposed changes. We are also meeting with the residents who have been allocated to move into this next phase of the master plan to get their feedback. In January 2021, a statewide consultation events will be held. We anticipate submitting amendments to the planning department in spring 2021 and are working toward a move-in day for spring 2024. Phase 2C will complete phase two of the Coval Estate Regeneration Master Plan. It will provide over 90 new homes over two plots a new energy centre, which will provide heating and hot water for the whole of the Coval Estate, as well as a new community centre on Penn Street. As part of Phase 2C, we will also deliver a communal courtyard garden for residents in Plot C, a communal podium garden for residents in Plot E, and new landscaped pedestrian streets with pocket parks and play features for children. Some of the changes we are making are necessary due to updates in the building regulations. Plot E, which houses the energy centre. Updates are required here to provide a more modern, low carbon solution to comply with the current standards and Hackney's commitment to tackling the climate emergency. We are also incorporating sprinklers in line with building regulations. Both the energy centre and the sprinkler tank require more room. This diagram indicates the possible plant space increase on the ground floor, as well as the additional space we will need on the roof. So why are we making additional changes? Well, in 2019, Hackney undertook a post-occupancy survey which asked residents living in Clift House and Dorchester House what they thought about their new homes. Whilst most of the feedback received from the residents was positive, the review of the planning application gives us an opportunity to incorporate some of the comments and the suggested improvements from these residents. What changes are we making? We are hoping to make a number of changes to the homes provided as part of phase 2C to address residents' comments. This will include aiming to provide both open plan and separate kitchen layouts for flats, reviewing the size and the type of windows. You, this will help with the ease of operating them and cleaning. Incorporating underfloor heating to all homes. Reviewing balconies to increase privacy and minimize overlooking. We are also making the shared gardens and surrounded streets as green as possible. This is an example of a one bedroom flat. It has an open plan, living, kitchen and dining arrangement. As you can see, a sliding partition can be used to separate the kitchen um, and this 
will allow for more built-in flexibility. This is an example of a one bedroom flat with a separate kitchen and living arrangement. Like the previous example, it uses a balcony that is partially recessed into the building for increased privacy. This diagram gives an overview of the types of public and outdoor spaces that we are developing as part of phase 2C. We would love to get your feedback on these areas. Dark green identifies opportunity areas for more trees. The light green highlights areas where more trees and more planting can be added. Pink notes the communal gardens for residents to enjoy together. And orange shows the locations of front gardens and buffer planting to increase a sense of privacy as well as making the streets greener. The pedestrian street and pocket park will be located between atrium apartments, Clift House and Plot C, as shown on the key plan on the left hand side of this page. We aim to create a local pocket park to increase planting. On the right are some examples of what we'd like to achieve. The central image is a sketch illustrating our early ideas. We'd like to include a range of fruit trees, play elements, wildflowers and raised beds. It is important to note that we still need more information on underground services before we can really be sure where we can plant trees, for example. The new community centre will be located on Penn Street, as per the key plan on the top left hand corner. The original planning application included a garden to the east of the community centre that is publicly accessible most of the time, but that can be secured for any private events um, for the community centre. The sketch on the right illustrates the original proposal for this garden, including some natural play features. Recent feedback from the residents suggests that they would like to see um, more greenery. So we're looking to increase planting to both this communal garden and along Penn Street. Plot C includes a shared garden for residents to enjoy as per the key plan on the top left hand corner. We aim to create a very green communal garden which can accommodate a range of uses. We propose adding more variety of planting and a more playful courtyard environment. The two central images are sketches illustrating our early ideas. We'd like to include flowering trees, a central green area, opportunities for fruit growing and play that engages with young people. In the bottom right are some examples of what we'd like to achieve. Plot E includes a shared podium garden as per the key plan on the top left hand corner. We aim to create a very green communal garden for all the residents to share. We propose more biodiversity and, playful and a playful courtyard, which brings people into contact with nature. In the bottom right are some examples of what we'd like to achieve. The two central images are sketches illustrating early ideas. We'd like to include trees to provide a sense of privacy, natural play and woodland planting to create buffer zones to adjacent homes. Some post-occupancy feedback from residents mentioned that they did not feel the front gardens to Clift House were private enough. On the left are some examples of what we'd like to achieve. On the right are some early sketch ideas that show two different approaches. Option one uses a tall raised planter to create a secure edge to front gardens. Option two includes an additional buffer planting outside of the front gardens. 
Thank you for getting this far. We would love to get your feedback on what we are proposing. You can find a link to an online questionnaire below this video on the Coval page. If you are a resident on the Coval estate, you will have received a booklet and questionnaire in the post. You can use the free post envelope to post the questionnaire back to us. We would like to receive your feedback by the 31st of January 2021. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation.